1984 and uh, as per the normal activities of our institution five major activities that is uh, education and training, research and development, instructional material development, extension and consultancy services and life. Uh, I am contributing to these uh, five activities of our institution and uh, today I will be talking to you on methods which you can incorporate in your day to day teaching uh, along with your lecture method. But before I move into that, let me make it clear uh, my session will be more of an interactive session and I won't go into the technical jargon of the definitions and all that. Of course, uh, something necessarily might be touched in the lecture. Uh, I would like to know from you in your university also, you must be having campus interviews. Campus placement. So in, in, so in those campus placements, uh, what type of uh, skills are expected from the from your students? What do they expect from your students? Can you give us five minutes? I uh, sure, sure. You I can have more, I think. You want to discuss among yourselves? You know what? Uh, actually when uh, when you started our mic was off, so we were not able to hear you from the start. Okay, 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 okay. Let me yeah, yeah, from where to begin? Uh, you you uh, from, from, the beginning, the from the beginning. From the beginning. Okay. Myself, Dr. S P Baby, Swam Prabha Baby. I am professor in education and educational management department. Uh, I joined the institution in long back in 1984. And from that time, I am contributing to the five major activities of the institution uh, education and training, research and development, instructional material development, extension services, and curriculum development. In this session for today, I will be discussing some of the methods which you can incorporate in your day to day teaching. Uh, if not in a big way, I think you can start something. Of course, uh, by the end of the lecture, we will further know what, what exactly can be incorporated in your teaching methods. But be before I go to the methods, let me just know from you. In your institution too, like in other institutions, there must be some campus placement it will be. Am I right in uh, assuming it or not? Am I right in assuming that in your university also, like in other uh, technical institutions, there are placements, campus placements are there? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, we have regular place, uh, campus placements. Uh, we, we have a dedicated corporate resource center who manages all these things. Very good. So, what type of uh, when the when the uh, personnel from uh, various uh, industries they visit you, what type of expectations they have from your institution? When uh, uh, when industry visits our campus, uh, they have. Uh, uh, Bring the question, uh, information about us that the students we we uh, we get to provide them for the placement right. They are skilled student as per the industry requirement, latest technology. They, they their communication skills are <coughs> as per the so first you said they they look for the technical skills. Am I right in saying that? Technical skills. But in addition, what they need? Communication skills. You uh, communication skills. Yes, yes. Interpersonal qualities. Interpersonal skills. Uh, then uh, there, there, are, there are many qualities uh, which they measure as per their standard candidate social factors, adaptability, adaptability. Uh, quest to learn new technology in a short period of time, good, good, good. aptitude, nice. organizing ability. Okay. I'll uh, may, may I know your name? My name is uh, Professor Gurpreet Singh, head of the department. Professor Gurpreet Singh, am I right in your name? Uh, 
प्रोफेसर रूपी सिंह एम सी डिपार्टमेंट now how far you are successful in developing these skills among your students through your lecture ma'am uh, uh, in when the students join the university in the first semester and uh, for one year that is first and second semester we provide uh, communication skills training okay as part of the curriculum uh, daily he and she has a Uh, uh, lecture of communication skills. So, uh, uh, each of our communication skills are on for one year. Uh, they, they, are taught, they are taught, but but how how they develop it? Okay, after completion of that year, when they come to you in the classes, uh, what what type of activities show that they are really good now? Good in uh, communication. The communication part, uh, the unique part, and personality development is handled by the well-trained uh, uh, professionals. We have a training and placement division which uh, which take care of this thing. Okay. Thank you for uh, briefing about what is the uh, what is the status of in your institution as regards the development of other skills. Now, uh, let me come to the things how in that. audible now yes i am very clear okay okay thank you because i was able to hear you so uh, we will be discussing certain methods we call these skills uh, other than these uh, technical skills that's the communication skills interpersonal skills adaptability and what others you have mentioned which the professionals are helping you helping your students to develop about uh, these things now you see there are certain methods which not only make the interaction with the students lively it also help them in developing such skills we call these such skills as the uh, as soft skills generic skills and employability skills a uh, formal training for these things is okay but uh, really when the display of such type of thing the exposure of such type of thing comes uh, the student is with you for a longer time so you can develop further uh, you can help them further in developing the such skills which are very important for their jobs not only for entering into the job but staying there also so let me first of all take the case uh, uh, we will be discussing case teaching method brainstorming and collaborative learning uh, for that i will go to how we conduct these things and what are of course advantages and disadvantages so first i start with the case teaching method now in this uh, method uh, let me let me hear from you what we understand by case teaching uh, my session will be more of interactive session i hope we just discuss uh, the, the one way one way type of communication method so let me hear from uh, the participants have you ever heard of this case teaching method uh professor gurpreet can i uh, can i request you that uh, some else some else also from uh, the participants uh, give their views in this regards yes please so what is case studying uh, case teaching method uh you you please introduce yourself also before uh, good morning ma'am i am nisha bhagotra from nca department in uic cu Uh, I I I could not hear your name. Manisha Malhotra. Okay. Okay. Good morning, ma'am. Yes. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, basically, case teaching method is uh, we can say when we have uh, some problem, then we have defined the uh, clearly clear problem to the students. Then pro uh, the students have to uh, design a case study on the basis of a real life 
or some survey you can say and uh, then they analyze the problem and some uh, applying some methods and after that uh, what they conclude after the whole uh, case study of that particular problem uh, you are right in saying that the problem is there only thing is that student doesn't uh, fabricate the case but the case is designed by the teacher so yes. the method is just a reconstruction of real life situation yes. something in the industry or anywhere has taken place it's a real thing and that is examined that the case is written in the form of description that what happened i will show you certain uh, cases regarding this now that is examined maybe individually or by group of students also so you can adopt any method in uh, for the for case study can be either individual or group then using their skills they establish general principles now there can be two approaches either the case situation is given and they on the basis of the case formulate principles what are applicable to that situation it can go other way also that should teach the principle uh, through the lecture method and then you give them the case and they see where those general principles which you have taught in the lecture they are being applied at at those those situations so uh, the the call these as inductive and deductive thing so when the particulars are rather than one situation where the particulars are given and inductive thinking this involves discovery by the student situation is given you don't teach the principles but the student of c analyzes the situation and reaches at the principles the other way that is the deductive thinking general principles are given that is they are uh, coming in the reconstruction of the case itself and they see students see that what type of principle is applied to that situation to remember particular is given inductive thinking and come to the general principles pig is said so that we we can remember remember this thing uh this is the way how the how the cases are used and you can have the to the, the mix of these two approaches also that is in some of the situations you follow the inductive approach for some of the situations you may go for the uh, the, the other way around that is the deductive now i come to how we how do we conduct the case case method how we use it how to conduct it. so first of all you have to select an appropriate case that looks like real right the point is certain situations certain aspects are taken from the real happening and then at times they are while designing they are little bit fabricated so as to suit what the principles which you have taught so uh this thing can be you might be having uh, certain cases at on the net also or you have to design yourself also taking in view the real life uh, problems of the invest now once that the appropriate case is designed or selected then content of the case, now you see demonstrate principles to be developed now let me let me show you now you can distribute this case it can be in the written form it can be in the video film form it can take uh, any time any time so let's just see the case of this uh just the uses of this type of cases they allow application of theoretical concepts otherwise you are teaching theory 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 and student doesn't know how it is applied in the real life so if they really see that it is how it is applicable in the real life student interest becomes more so this also encourages active learning because now the student has to do right um this provides opportunity for development of skills now naturally i will come to these things again also communication when they talk with each other their communication skills for which the special efforts were taken by your uh, your person personal though are those are further strengthened here also 
This increases student enjoyment of the topic and thus creates interest and desire to learn. Let me show you the case. Uh, you will read the case carefully and then I will raise certain questions. Uh, this is the case of the blind man with a lamp. You just go through the case. Uh, you see, once upon a time, a blind man carrying a lantern was walking down the street at night. Someone asked, you cannot see anything. Why do you take the lamp with you? The blind man answered, when I do so, others would be able to see me and not knock me down. Right? So this case is, a uh, question for this case is, in the case, in the view of safe production, what can this story tell you? Because in the industry, safety is must. So keeping that in view, what this? What is the lesson from this uh, story? I give you two minutes to discuss. You can have two minutes to discuss among yourselves, and then we will discuss the case. Okay, time starts. I do so others would be able to see me and not and not come to the Safe production, but can the story tell us? Good morning. Uh, you have solved the case. Let's uh, now discuss. Very good. My name is Rahul Malhotra. I'm from UIC MCA. Exactly, I have not uh, got the answer of this problem, but I have some perception in my mind. Like if we are designing some product, right, and uh, uh, in that product we need to give some safety features, uh, which is exactly not required or which is uh, not in the you know similar to the product. But uh, that would not uh, do any harm if the user is using that product. Then the product would not get harmed. That's why we are adding that uh, safety uh, you know, feature in that particular product. So this is what exactly I am thinking this story is resembling if we are you know, product, uh, producing some kind of product. OK. You say that the product you have created, and there you have written uh, this these things should not be done. You want to say this thing? If I am right in interpreting you? Uh, right, ma'am. Sort of these things. Sort of these things. Okay. Uh, anybody else who will like to? Or this is the view of the whole group? One more submission, ma'am. Uh, if, we, if we are careful and we are backed by every rules and regulations and make, uh, other laws also say. Your voice is not clear, please, sir. Uh, my 
माइक ले लें आप प्लीज मैम ओके मैम व्हाट आई परसीव फ्रॉम दिस इज दैट वी हैव टू बी आंसर बी सेव बस एंड इट विल हेल्प अदर्स आल्सो ओके गुड वेरी गुड so uh, so let's just see uh, well uh, it was well attempted uh, so actually philosophy of safety tells that take measures to avoid being hurt uh, there are three principles of do not be harmed right and one among them is that you take some measures for yourself so that you are not hurt so it is a type of becoming proactive in that situation so what the blind man did is what following only mutual supervision and reminding yourself for becoming safe that the right things which can be done <coughs> i am giving you another case ah and now i give you more time to think you may take three four minutes so one day blow out happened while drilling high pressure gas reservoir drilling mud were pumped to the mixing tank for weighing by a small cycles pipeline while a mud technician of the drilling team who had just graduated from college went across the mud line to the tank to pick up the mud samples and that you see what happened to him he was knocked to the ground and died instantly by raising pipeline because the pipeline was not fixed firmly and pipeline pumping pressure released and so the accident took place so this is a real case uh, by kwanvi young at, uh, and the others in 2006 they made this case and this real thing happened in the in one of the industries Now the question is, analyze this case, discuss the cause of the accident with the idea of the the trajectories cross theory of accident causation, and propose accident prevention measures also. I go to the case, and I will when you say I will again show you the question. I am going to the case again. You just read it carefully. and then i will again show you the question we are having uh, again 3 minutes to discuss show you question also what okay. was cause of the you have to discuss two things cause of the accident keeping in view the i of course i know that you don't have the trajectories cause theory of accident causation with you because i am just giving you the view of how these cases help in learning the things so i am not going into the teaching of trajectories cause theory of accident causation Yes. Uh, yes, but you do. You have to discuss the. You may keep in. You only discuss the cause of the accident, but keep that the, the causation theory, causation aspects in view. And you have to also propose accident prevention measures. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, 
the cause of uh, accident uh, can be uh, categorized as follow the 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 concerned person was a young graduate uh, he should have taken uh, advice of uh, uh, his next senior who uh, for uh, taking charge into his hands uh, he should have followed the standard operating procedure which are already uh, uh, told to a, a young uh, uh, trainee when he joins that so he should have gone by the standard operating procedure before taking the charge into his hands and uh, the other part is that the skilled training uh, you should be skilled uh, enough to uh, appreciate the situation that uh, uh, of such kind you have to take preventive measures before uh, when you are working into uh, a place which is of high uh, where the high processes are involved so uh, in one shot you can say that he should have followed the standard operating procedure the sop is the guidelines which are already issued this would have very, uh, uh, very good professor gupti and your team i congratulate you for uh, discussing so actively and so in such a brief time uh, you must see uh, I, i just uh, show this analysis of this case uh, you see this case is based on a real personal injury uh students are required to present their understanding of the trajectories cause theory of accident causation of course i won't go into that because that was not talk to see here the risk factors from human behaviors unsafe behavior across high pressure loop pipeline you have rightly said that uh, he should have followed certain standard procedures and he should have thought of that what type of accidents can happen if he goes near to those uh, those places where he was collecting the samples factors regarding movement tracks and objects for example pressure circulation pipeline was not fixed so when going into such type of risk areas where the accident can take place the person should be proactive in seeing that if uh, any type of um, any type of uh, this when the pipeline is not attached properly such type of thing may happen so he had to take care of such things how intersection of movement tracks now the tracks should be such that there should be some lining some marks on that uh, tracks so that any person who, even if uh, they are these the things are self explanatory now you see there are certain differences in which uh, the the points which i have uh, shown and which your this your group has this now here comes the role of the challenging role of the teacher because there may not be the fixed answers the way they are written in the books so the teacher has to take care that if that things deviate he has to take care that okay from theory these things emerge and how the students have interpreted point is teacher has to be open minded flexible in uh, in in responding in analyzing the responses which are coming from this though you have uh, had a very little discussion but let me just uh, know from you uh, uh, how you you find the your discussions how you found your discussion hmm when the discussion was going on uh, did you enjoy the discussion or uh, it was just okay okay no we enjoyed a lot i enjoyed a lot what feelings during the discussion okay let me make it more uh, precise in uh, your analysis how are you feeling yes was it boring was it boring Uh, we were no ma'am. We we all were participating in nature, and everybody contributed the uh, one and uh, more than one point. Then the all points uh, uh, together, and the one statement was issued. Very good. So, uh, in uh, so in 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 a case study method, case study method. So once the case is given. then students uh, are given the case wherein they can respond individually or as group 
and review and clarify ideas. So you see, you have we have given you a like situation. Now when when your students are studying and it is on your area, that creates interest and motivates the students. Not only that, students see the relevance for the future jobs also. Why this trajectory theory is taught to me? The big question comes. One is you cram it. The other is you really see that it is applicable somewhere also. And not only that, it helps in developing certain skills. Aap may say ek leader ban gaya hoga. Am I right in... Uh, no, I was not watching you, but I understand one among you must be the leader. Was it like that? Just like discuss the wire. Come out, uh, came out to you. Uh, Point C A. आपने अभी कहा मैडम सभी ने कंट्रीब्यूट किया था सो इट वाज नॉट जस्ट पैसिव लिसनिंग ऑफ द लेक्चर राइट यू आर एक्टिवली इन्वॉल्व इन दैट सो दिस टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स हेल्प इन बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड डेवलपिंग योर अदर कैपेबिलिटीज व्हिच द एम्प्लॉयर्स आर सीइंग अमंग द स्टूडेंट्स यू मे से कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स आर फर्दर स्ट्रेंथन मे बी Uh, when you were discussing, there might be some difference of opinion among the people also. So, how to interact with others? Inter this is this is a platform where you are developing your uh, students interpersonal skills also. So, you organize the things, and then <laughs> of course there are this uh, this uh, disadvantage is also all the time you will not have. Uh, the cases which are given on the website, you might have to wait yourself also, taking a new certain problem, and that takes a lot of time. Uh, the whole case study operation requires considerable time, and I said that when there are no fixed answers for this, so there the teacher has a challenge. Their students may come up with real creative type of solutions for that. <laughs> And the teacher is ready for it. Need some time on the part of the teacher also. Uh, it it is more time consuming. But I you don't think it as as a point from that it is taking time. You see the outcomes, the benefits out of it. Benefit you are developing not only the content, you are making your things more interesting and making your things more interesting, more relevant. Motivate students to learn themselves certain things. Also, you develop certain skills which they are uh, communication skills. Giving practice by a professional is a different thing, but the communication skills which are related to your content and then presenting those things, uh, the the this uh, that is I would say the real development of the communication skills in that sense. So uh, I won't say that these are really the disadvantages because the gains are quite high. So this is all about the case method. Uh, now I move to the second method. Uh, that's the brainstorming, uh, brainstorming method. Have you ever heard this word, brainstorming? Let me before I move. Uh, let me hear from you. Did you understand by brainstorming? Brainstorming. Yes. 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 Brainstorming. Uh, uh, one can say that a particular problem uh, that can be a mathematical problem or a real world situation where uh, you have to uh, uh, solve it or uh, plan a solution, and uh, you have to apply your mind and from best of the solution you have to find out which is more feasible and acceptable. Okay. It's a group activity also. आप इसको ब्रेन एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग तो दिमाग में तूफान ले आओ तो सॉल्व ए प्रॉब्लम नाउ दिस दिस प्रॉब्लम मे नॉट बी मैथमेटिक जिंदगी में कई प्रॉब्लम्स आती हैं इट कैन बी अप्लाइड एनी वेयर इट मे बी इंडस्ट्री प्रॉब्लम इट मे बी पर्सनल प्रॉब्लम ब्रेस प्रॉब्लम कैन बी अप्लाइड एनी तो लेट्स सी जस्ट दिस वाज डेवलप्ड बाय एलेक्स ऑस्पोन 
He was principal of New York advertising agency Betel. Um, he coined this term, which means using the brain to creatively storm the problem. So, far layout problem, solution scale. Right? So, it is based on the premise that when people interact in an understand setting, they will generate creative ideas. Hum no creative community. Let me just have a line. What do you mean by creativity? What you mean? Aapne ye word to boss suna hoga. That person is. I would say that it is partially created. Yes. But we understand. We are a person. Okay. So good morning, ma'am. Myself, Pratik Paul. According to me, brainstorming it is a psychological test technique. So uh, actually, we all are creative, but the thing is, psychological effect uh, factor it affects that makes us the creative uh, part of uh, us. It it shapes the creative part by that psychological test. It's psychological test. What is it? What is it? What do you mean by creativity? Um, creativity it is actually when we are doing something uh, which is uh, extraordinary part of us, which is not, uh, which is not, uh, which we cannot express in front of uh, all others. Uh, it can be uh, someone. It can be creative only due to the brainstorming part, uh, which may be due to the psychological factors. But for the it's within us only and that's all. We can't I mean, share with the other our creativity. Ma'am, yeah. you understand your point. Am I right in interpreting? Sorry, ma'am. You said that uh, it's within us and we, the, the thing which we can't share with others. Am I right in saying this? Uh, ma'am, yes. Because every person it is creative in itself. Uh, but the thing is, uh, some people they are able to express their things and some are not. So it depends on the, uh, it, it, it is the factor which is uh, counted that is gifted children and ungifted children. Uh, normal children, so we can say, normal people, we can say. So um, according to me, creativity depends on the psychological factors. Okay. Uh, it may then us, but it has to be expressed also because otherwise nobody will know that we are creating. Thank you, uh, Pradeep, for uh, giving your views. Creativity means uh, to develop something new, which is, uh, it may be in the form of product, maybe in the form of process, maybe in the form of doing a particular thing. It can be anywhere. And it's not only the privilege of gifted people. Even with, even with the average intelligence can be created. Right? So, but you can't say that it remains within us. We have to express those things also. The person who is creatively improves his quality of life. Now, brainstorming is one way to develop creativity among people. Creativity is not a thing which cannot be developed among people. Now, you see here, uh, Interact in an unrestrained setting. Generally, what happens when we are yeah. young, we have fears uh, that's called emotional block in our creativity. We have in our mind fears that if I give this, I, I, maybe I don't know I get it, but that is out of the rut, I would say. And I have a fear in my mind. That if I give this idea, people will laugh at me. They will laugh at me. They will impractical se ideas. Right? And actually, creativity is all from there. That's why it's based on this premise only, this method is that when you are having no bindings, as you give those ideas which are, in, which are real creative, so we create, in this method you will see, we create those situations where this is unrestrained situation. So let's see how does it, does it happen. But there are not all situations where you can use this method. Uh, first is, problem has a unique solution. 
I heard that it can be applied to mathematical problems. It can be applied to any method. The point is, it should not have a unique solution. Say, I say under root of million, under root of hundred, there is no creativity involved in it. There is a fixed solution and that's all. Right? Or, topic is this. Topic is this. And the topic is this. So, if I say how to get ahead in life, right? Now, how to get ahead in life means uh, there can be a number of things where you want to see that the person is ahead. In. So, it's so broad and broad and topic. It's so vague that the person will not one person. If you are having a say group activity for uh, having solutions to this type of thing. Somebody will go on one thing and the other worship person will go towards other aspect of it. So to make them broadly focused, not highly focused I am saying, if I put the same problem into how to get promoted in a particular organization, now you have the, have the target with you that okay, target is to get promoted. Now you can have a brainstorming. So, you are, when you are giving the problem to your students, you must see that there should not be a unique solution. There should be possibility of number of solutions for that. And you will see that in the industry problem and even in certain subjects also, there are various situations where are, there are no fixed solutions. So wherever there are no fixed solutions, we can go for brainstorming. And the other is when the topic is weak, so be clear that when you give I, I would say that even in a, in one semester, if you go for one to brainstorming sessions, at least you give them the students a type of uh, uh, idea that they should uh, they should go for brainstorming because brain, for the brainstorming it's not necessary at all that you go for the group only. It can be individual, but once you develop this type of uh, way of doing the things, way of solving the problems among students. Then they, when even then, when they are sitting alone and they have some problem related to industry or maybe to their, their personal, they will start brainstorming individually also. So there are certain characteristics of brainstorming technique. First is their sole concern is idea generation and not idea evaluation. You see, moment you want to share your view with others. And this thought comes to your mind that my idea will not be worth. You won't share that. That's why idea is to generate the idea and not evaluate it. But it is at the initial stage. Then later on it will be evaluated also. But at the time of generation of the idea, it's not evaluated. Then group of 10 to 12 members, they are presented with a problem. There can be 10 to 12 students which you can which can sit and solve this. Group is asked to identify as many solutions as possible. There is no restriction ki ke baad band ho jana hai, 20 ke baad band ho jana hai. Jitna time hai, they can go on giving ideas. Group members may or may not be from the same discipline. It's not that all computer science ke liye. Aap Computer, problem computer science ki hai. You may have certain other persons from civil, mechanical like that. And when industries in, in real show when they go for brainstorming technique, they say say the problem is in the production line. They will call some people from the accounts, some people from the inventory and like that. So it's good that if they are there is a mix of the groups also mix of people also. There is a reason for that because the production person will always look to the solution of to that problem in a production type of settings. If the problem is related to computer science, computer science person will look, to inter look at the problem, interpret the things in a computer science logistics only, logics only. But if the other persons are also sitting, they won't, they, are, they don't have that knowledge. So based on their own experience, they will interpret it in a different way and what is creativity to come in a different way. That's how 
people from the different but if you even if you are you are uh, keeping it for your own computer science group also even that will do but it is not a binding on for a brainstorming session the sessions generally last for 30 minutes to an hour it's necessary there is a reason because the real good ideas they come at the end you can if you don't have time you may go for 30 to 40 minutes also most ideas generated may be impractical aap dekhenge kafi ideas impractical aayenge because students at times become funny they want to give funny ideas because there is no constraint on the things but few will merit serious consideration we will have a small brainstorming session right here and you will see how the dust jo lagte na bilkul impractical bahut funny those ideas are taken for for the purposes so let's uh, i i am i am having a small brainstorming session of course i can't have for 30 to 40 minutes but just a glimpse of that so first of all, when you start your brainstorming session, uh, you have to brief about the stages. Okay. First of all, we will do this thing, then this thing, and this thing. And uh, for that matter, you will announce to the students that participation from every student is compulsory. Then the rules are announced. So let's just listen, because I am going to have brainstorming session with you. So you listen the rules carefully. Okay, first rule is criticism is prohibited. कोई भी किसी का criticism नहीं करेगा. It may be highly impractical, highly funny idea doesn't matter. But nobody is going to criticize anybody any other for the other's uh, uh, idea. Then free willing is welcome. जो दिल में आता है बोलिएगा. No constraint set up. आपको इम्प्रैक्टिकल लगे फनी लगे आप मजाक बनाना चाहते हैं सिचुएशन का डजेंट मैटर एवरीथिंग इज वेलकम इन दिस ब्रेन कॉन्वर्सेशन देन क्वांटिटी इज वांटिंग जितने आइडियाज ज्यादा देंगे उतने हम खुश होंगे डेफर इवेल्युएशन वाइल प्रोड्यूसिंग आइडियाज नाइदर यू आर टू इवेल्युएट आइडियाज ऑफ अदर इंडिविजुअल्स नॉट यूर ओन आइडिया देने से पहले आप सोचो ओ हो दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल नो थिंकिंग जो आता है दिल में बोल दे नो ना आप दूसरे के आइडिया को इवेल्युएट करेंगे ना अपने को बस जस्ट जो दिमाग में आया बोल दो बस फैंटास्टिक द आइडियाज इज बेटर जितना फनी जितना इंप्रैक्टिकल आइडियाज इट्स गुड राइट हिच हाइक ऑन प्रीवियसली एक्सप्रेस आइडियाज ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन हिच हाइक Your own previously expressed ideas, जैसे कि आपकी दोबारा turn आती है maybe I may not be able to give you second turn, but I will like that at least one turn will come to everybody. So अगर आपने ऐसे कुछ बोला and when the again turn come to you, you can further build up that idea. There is no restriction कि उसके related idea आप बोल चुके हो. Another thing, you can hitchhike on the ideas of other persons also. So, जो भी आपको लगता है कि किसी और के आइडिया की एक्सटेंशन कर सकते पॉइंट इज इट्स ए टोटली फ्री टाइप ऑफ अंडरस्टैंड टाइप ऑफ सेटिंग वेर यू कैन स्पीक अप एनी थिंग फॉर दैट मैटर फॉर फॉर दैट प्रॉब्लम सो रूल्स आर आर यू क्लियर ऑफ फॉर द रूल्स कैन आई स्टार्ट रनिंग द ब्रेन स्टॉमिंग सेशन वी स्टार्ट विद द सेशन सो द फर्स्ट स्टेज वॉज दैट आई हैव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड यू Uh, I have given you the rules, and now I come to the icebreaker. Icebreaker is a warm-up session. Warm-up means that first I have a real problem. I am a little bit like that. I take a problem and give you a situation so that you are away from your other thinkings and you are warm up for the take for taking up the real problem which we are going to. So in this, okay, I I, I am having pen, so I just uh, give you half minute. Uh, I am cutting down the time for the things so that I just can demonstrate this uh, method. So I am having a pen. What can be the other uses of pen? I just give you half minute to think and then we just then you will to, to, uh, to respond to this. Just half minute to think. With this pen, as you can see. Yes, yes. Okay. What can we do with the pen? 
If you change the destiny of the world, are you going to use? स्टार्ट बोलिए आपने क्या सोचे हैं पेन के यूजेस फास्ट यू कैन स्पीक आउट बी टेक आइडियाज फ्रॉम अदर्स एंड स्पीक आउट दोस आल्सो प्लीज ओके मैम ट्राई फॉर अ चिल्ड्रन हम देन राइटिंग मटेरियल फॉर अ राइटिंग मटेरियल राइटिंग For writing material, something for it, huh? It is for a tool for Khalsa to collect his carbon. A tool for a Khalsa person. Tool for a Khalsa person to collect his carbon. Right, right, right. Yes. Okay. For the writing, for the um, ah, for a lady, a bun stick. Use as a bun stick. Use as a bun stick. And even the youngsters can use it uh, for the entertainment project. They can play tooth and nail for their game. Yes, for playing tooth and nail game. Playing tooth and nail game. Very well done. Very well done. Good. So we are ready for the. We are ready for the. Uh, and this is an ordinary student who is not interested in lecture and put the pen in front of other ear and observe it. Or is there a good idea to? आपकी आवाज कट रही है मैम स्टूडेंट कैन यूज स्टूडेंट कैन यूज द पेन और पुट द पेन ऑन हिज और हिज और हर ईयर इफ ही और शी इज नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन द सम लेक्चर सम नोटोरियस स्टूडेंट्स आर देयर ओके ओके गुड थैंक्स फॉर शेयरिंग इंटरेस्टिंग न्यूज़ ओके इट कैन इट कैन बी यूज्ड एज कैन It can be used as a pointer when doing the map reading exercise. Okay. okay. Pointing device. Good. So you see, when we started, the this the, the uh, situations which you are uh, giving, they were basically for taking it as a normal way for writing purposes that are writing and all that. But later on, we moved to the other things really, maybe pointing. Like that, a lot playing like other things. So now we are ready for taking the problem. So we define the problem. You have to define the problem at this stage. Ours being a, I'm teaching method. लेके चल रहे हैं. So let's take the problem related to that. You see, this is a problem with many teachers. Problem of gaining and. Retaining attention in the class, right? So we will move, and uh, one on you will uh, come to the uh, at the speaker side, take the ideas from everybody, and just speak it out. So our time starts. Please start giving the ideas. Uh, let me. Again, request Pradeep Kaur. Hmm. Pradeep. 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 Haan ji, Pradeep, Pap, you will handle the situation, right? Ever ask everybody to give the idea, and then you speak it out. And ikatthe ni bolna kisi ne bhi. We start. We have now started with the things. Problem is in front of you, right? In order to gain uh, and retaining the attention in classroom, first of all, being a teacher, I will prepare a micro lesson which may be related to the topic I am going to discuss. And beyond uh, preparing the micro lesson, I will also uh, having some uh, visual aids so that I will retain the attention of the students in the class. Uh, it is it is demonstration by uh, it is demonstration and visualization at the same time. So uh, I will not continue my lecture uh, continuously. I will give some break. I will uh, shake them up by giving some funny moments also. 
and at the same time i will uh, i will uh, continue my uh, teaching process by pupil uh, teacher pupil interaction also okay well i have the views from others also everybody has to contribute this is compulsory thing thank you uh, okay next ma'am by showing some interesting videos on that particular topic that is related to real life okay next okay. Uh, ma'am the main concern is when we are teaching some to uh, topic to the students then we are just delivering the theoretical concepts to the students so we should have uh, the knowledge surroundings uh, about that like uh, how the facebook was developed what is the need of the facebook and uh, by uh, you know how it is working right now If, like i am uh, handling a php project so i have uh, i've told them in the first lecture that this is the application of this particular thing which you are doing so that they can you know they they will have some interest in this subject and they will continue studying uh, with a, a lot of interest okay next um, according to me uh, that the first thing is that we need to be loud enough that the students can hear us properly second thing is we need to maintain eye contact with each and every student so that the student is not uh, distracted by other things that are happening in the class yes next okay uh, i think uh, we can do all that we have to excite the student why should they go for this topic why should they learn this topic relevance to them uh to the subject and relevance to them also the first part is we have to excite the student uh, why should they learn this uh, this particular topic or subject okay next <laughs> Okay, yes. Another option that we could do is that uh, we first make them connect with the previous knowledge, and the only they are able to connect with the previous knowledge that they have, they would be uh, having the inclination to pursue new knowledge. So, given them uh, some uh, keywords or after sharing some new knowledge, we can make them think so that they engage their mind. Okay, next. Everybody has to contribute by giving them uh, practical questions to solve, and by uh, and by providing them the participation of each and every student must in the classroom. Okay, next. Uh, In my case, I put some I throw some questions in the class uh, that will depict the relevance of a subject with a real-time examples. Uh, if there is a, a new topic, then first of all I have to give the real-time examples so that the subject. Sir, you have not heard me. 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 Sir, you have Right. The uh, topic is why. In that case, uh, uh, I'll give you some examples that is based on which we have to be introduce a new subject, a new topic in the classes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next. While delivering the lecture, the teacher can uh, wonder in the class, so the class benches can retain their attention during the lecture. Uh, student fellow, when entering into the class, what the teacher should do? Sorry. Sorry. Uh, uh, just repeat it again. While delivering the lecture, a teacher can wander in the class to the last bench, so the last uh, back, uh, back benches can listen, uh, give their attention. Okay, thank you for coming in the class. Thank you. Okay, uh, we likewise we go for everybody, and then second round, third round, because it it has to go for thirty minutes. Maybe I am uh, I am stopping here. And you see that uh, nothing new has come, right? Uh, earlier I had uh, these type of sessions. I just share with uh, you some of the things which came out. Some one somebody said that teacher will uh, 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 cut jokes in the class, right? Away which which you normally don't do, right? 
अगर मैं लर्निंग प्रिंसिपल पढ़ाने जाऊँ आई वुड से द सेम थिंग विच यू हैव सेड वे बी इफ द टाइम गोज आप जस्ट ये सोचिए कि ये जब शॉक खत्म हो जाएगा जो आपका पुराना शॉक है then you will start and the time is not yet over and you have to give ideas more and more you will come out with certain more ideas which are not in this list because you can expand the idea but you can't repeat it right or or koi strain restrain nahi hai uske so uh, somebody said that okay teacher will dance in the class can teacher dance in the class so ye jo sare points hain these points are focus on the problem these points are written by somebody jab aap brainstorming session karwa rahe hain maine to sun liye hain one you will uh, means uh, tell some some student that he has to write on the board or flip chart whatsoever is there then select one focus statement out of that maybe thoda jo students hain wo zyada sharabti bhi hote hain और हो सकता है मैं शरारती टीचर के पास अब बारी नहीं आने दी इट माइट हैव हैपन लाइक दैट सो यू आर टू सेलेक्ट द आइडिया आइडर योर सेल्फ और आज स्टूडेंट्स टू सेलेक्ट फॉर फाइव आइडिया जैसे मैंने कहा ना किसी ने कहा टीचर क्लास में गाएगा किसी ने कहा टीचर क्लास में डांस करेगा किसी ने कहा टीचर क्लास में जोक सुनाएगा एंड ऑल दैट विट लुक्स टू बी इन प्रैक्टिकल अभी आप में से किसी एक ने कहा था थोड़ा सा वो फेसबुक और उसका भी लेकर चले ओके व्हेन वी सी सिचुएशंस जो फेसबुक का काम लाइक दैट आई इफ आई नॉट क्लियर अबाउट दिस आई आई नॉट नोटेड द एग्जैक्ट वर्ड्स बट समथिंग अबाउट द सोशल मीडिया वाज सेड अबाउट यू कैन यूज दैट वर्ड्स आज ना नो के दैट यू लुक एट दिस सोशल मीडिया पे क्या चीज आई यू यस नहीं आपके टॉपिक के रिलेटेड देन you make a assignment form for that also okay if say i take a teacher will dance in the class earlier what this is the this uh, this is the time and generally i have seen now also there are some teachers who apni ek hi jagah pe khade hote hain wahi pe dais se hatte bhi nahi hain and they give the full lecture of an hour or so so dance doesn't mean that they they exactly dance but it is when it is evaluated it is that you bring some movement some activity some jaise kisi ne kaha na move to the last hand also so apni movement rakho it's not just just dancing it's gestures appropriate gestures hone chahiye so with this also you can kisi ne kaha joke main dekhe aaj kal computers ke some cheezon pe kai jokes aa jate hain to kahin jo koi fit hota hai to you can even even ask them also incorporate them also so you select four five ideas which looks to be impractical either you ask students to select or you can do it by yourself and again have that session based on the session isme hai ki maan lo dance hai to dance karna ya jokes sunana right how to make them practical wo brainstorming usme ho jayega after that silly suggestions sab fir liye jayenge and then finally you will go for the evaluation अब इवेल्युएशन का बेसिस क्या है हेयर कम्स ऑल दिस वाज आइडिया जनरेशन जब तक आइडिया जनरेशन हुई वी हैव नॉट इवेल्युएटेड सो दैट ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ इनप्रैक्टिकल फनी थिंग्स कम आउट फ्रॉम द ग्रुप नाउ देयर मे बी सर्टेन थिंग्स वेयर वी यू नीड मनी राइट यू हैव टू फॉर्मुलेट सर्टेन क्राइटेरिया सो दैट दोस आइडियाज फिट इनटू दोस क्राइटेरिया दोस क्राइटेरिया इट मे बी क्राइटेरिया कैन बी रिलेटेड टू कॉस it can be resources it can be constraints time and so on so say i i i say that okay uh, how you will incorporate brainstorming in your day to day teaching so so point is you can think of certain things and sure. and on the basis of on the basis of uh, the set criteria for evaluation you evaluate and then convert it into the real solutions so this is how they saw me goes up uh now i will share you with you some findings about they saw me they you see that better ideas are produced in the second half ab jaise mera second half bhi maine actually they saw me khatam kar di you think that's just that if i go on taking ideas from you for half an hour aapka ye jo daily stock hai wo khatam ho jayega right 
then you will come to the real things which may not be practical only. So there comes the creative species. So best ideas are in Bhad Mea. Group that are exhorted to brainstorm and go after quantity rather than quality end up producing larger number of ideas. If you think about this every time, how practical is it? When giving ideas, then you can't give ideas. So that's why there is no binding on this and you come up with more number of ideas. There are certain advantages of brainstorming. This encourages creativity. We took that thing. Or as you see that in most of the institutions, most of the industries, they see कहीं ना कहीं तो ad में लिखा होता है need creative person like that. So this develops develops this type of ability among students. This is refreshing change of mind. क्योंकि students को कोई भी काम का कोई lecture का pressure नहीं है उसको और उसको thinking पे भी he can think beyond anything. So it's a Refreshing change of method, uh, sense of participation because it's compulsory that everybody will participate. Increases self confidence and resourcefulness. जब कोई idea अपने तरफ से नई सी situation का जहाँ जिसका कोई direct situation का solution ही दिखाई देता है and he gives the idea for that, he becomes more confident that okay I can think beyond all these things also. I am resourceful also. So this type of give give things give them a good type of feeling about himself. Of course, there are certain disadvantages. Again, I know thousand disadvantages. One is uh, not a very systematic way of studying the subject. You can't study everything from this. Systematic way, the, the, the way you derive your theorems or tell the students the steps for writing a software like that, it doesn't go in that systematic Too many dark suggestions are generated. But if the dark suggestions are too much and you are to make them practical, Evaluate them on certain criteria. At times, teacher is not, again a challenge for the teacher, teacher is not able to handle so many of the tough students. And with the young group exposed to such an environment, they may give you a number of tough situations for the given group. Some students are reluctant to participate. And this is another challenge, I would say, for the teacher to motivate our students to participate. So this was all about the brainstorming session and now I move to the last method, collaborative learning. Before I start with this method, let me hear uh, from you, uh, uh, most of you have must have done BE like that, you might have uh, lived in hostels also, right? Am I right in saying this thing? Yes? Yes ma'am. Okay. When you are having your examination, Final exam pass at other. I have I have heard at least. I I don't know about you, and I will like to know what you. But does that thing happen with you also? Exam के बाद में क्या करते हैं? कई बच्चे hostel चले जाते हैं और they they distribute the things. Okay, you will learn cram this part of the subject, this portion to the other. Then they meet again and make the other person, other friend learn the things. Right? It's a standard practice. It is a standard practice. Standard practice. Now, this collaborative learning is bringing the same concept in the classroom. How it? How you can do it? Because you see that you learn more comfortably among your peers. So here we make social learning aspect here. Yeah? This is based on the idea that learning is a social. Uh, is active learning because it takes place in student teams. Students apas me padte hain, but like teachers are everything. Teachers goes on speaking. It doesn't go like that. Learning engagement among it's either face to face or online. Dono tariki ho sakte hai. Even nowadays online is very becoming very popular. So it's not necessary that it should be face to face. Involves group of learners working together to solve a problem, complete a task or create a problem. It can be anything, any topic, anything can be given to the student for this type of thing. Let us see. Okay. 
the this centers on the students discovery study and use of information in a collaborative manner students are generally uh, given they analyze the situation it may require interpretation evaluation comparison synthesis whatsoever you have uh, i think learned in our when we were dealing with the instructional objective point is it can relate to any of the instructional objectives in the cognitive program jo aapne baat ki thi it can be remembering understanding like analysis synthesis application like that uh here it is higher student teacher ratio increases feedback ekdam pata chalta hai ki yahan pe kitna teacher ko ekdam pata chal jata hai ki kitna students ne learn kar liya hai then info mane sort sorted it here links new information to prior knowledge because when the students are learning of their own they always relate to their previous knowledge utilizes resources better time ki best you will see how it goes teacher is not a Uh, not the only person of the giver of the knowledge right teacher is mentor helping students to do the things he is co learner right ko bhi nahi pata dekhenge lekin wo and use this method and i would say this method is most easily to use kyunki yahan pe na hi dhoona hai na hi koi brainstorming ke liye aise challenging problem dhoonni hai they really you want to have brainstorming session Uh, it's a joint ownership more risk taking facilitates problem solving so teacher's role kya hai isme you uh, teacher acts as more as an organizer of the event facilitator mediator than as a transmitter of knowledge he is more of time keeper he is, uh, resolves the problem if arise kyunki jab bacche kaam ikatthe karte hain kai bar jhagde bhagde bhi ho jate hain so they need resolve or they are not able to means uh, con uh, have consensus on certain issue so wahan pe teacher ka role bad jata hai help in answering questions if presenter is not able to so or a presenter nahi kar sakta teacher is there to do it uh, i there are certain uh, there are number of ways where you can have collaborative learning i'm just discussing uh, one to here otherwise there are um, think pair share jigsaw method numbered heads together group investigations there are so many others methods which you can instructional examples are there where collaborative learning can be done so um i i give you one question question is i just uh, uh, dealt with the brainstorming method now my question is how will you incorporate this method in your teaching uh, i give you 1 minute to think and nobody will discuss remember my instruction nobody will will discuss with anybody just think yourself no discussions at all main sabko dekh rahi hu so koi aapas mein discussion nahi karega apne aap sochna sir can you repeat the question please yes of course Uh, i have just uh, interacted with you on brainstorming method of teaching right uh, how effectively you can incorporate this method in your teaching just think yourself for a minute नहीं दिस नो डिस्कशन नो डिस्कशन प्लीज अपने आप सोचना है ओके अनदर स्टेप सेकेंड स्टेप है काम डिस्कस विद द पर्सन सिटिंग नेक्स्ट टू यू नाउ दिस डिस्कशन इज अलाउड आपके जो साथ वाले बैठे हैं पेयर बना लो अपने पेयर में डिस्कस करिएगा फॉर फॉर मिनट फॉर ए मिनट नहीं ऐसे एक जंपिंग नहीं करनी है नेक्स्ट पर्सन 
नेक्स्ट पर्सन के साथ आप डिस्कस करो अगेन वन मिनट इज गिवन टू यू नहीं मुझे आवाजें आ रही हैं सिर्फ पेयर में डिस्कस कर रहे हैं राहुल ओके इट्स डन राहुल आप आके डिस्कस करो व्हाट यू हैव डिस्कस मैम फॉर एग्जांपल वी आर गोइंग टू टीच अ क्लास डेटाबेस रिगार्डिंग डेटाबेस so what we i will do uh, after going into the class i will ask them uh, you have one minute and uh, tell me uh, what are your views about database what is database exactly so i will i will let the um, you know when uh, i will let the answers come to me at what they think, think about database and what are their op op opinions about that once i will get the details from the students then i will uh, discuss something about database in the detail uh, what topic exactly i was going to tell them in that particular lecture and after uh, delivering the lecture uh, in last 20 or 15 minutes when i will once again go to the students to the each student i mean uh, i will give uh, them 5 minutes or 6 minutes that i will ask them what exactly you have learned right now earlier this was your perception about database and now i have delivered you this thing what exactly you have uh, you know gained in this lecture then i can uh, come to know that uh, how they have learned about the database and uh, what exactly they learned about the database if what i was about okay thank you thank you thank you rahul database ka there is a fixed answer i think database kya hota hai no so, में वो टॉपिक लेना है जिसका फिक्स सोल्यूशन नहीं है राइट बट आई आई मस्ट अप्रिशिएट एक्टर्स माय जॉब इज डन नाउ यू सी दिस टाइप ऑफ मेथड दिस टाइप ऑफ मेथड इज कार्ड थिंक फेयर शेयर यू सी but instructor poses a question preferably one demanding any type of situation right give the time to think maine kya kiya brainstorming ka question pucha aapse i gave you one minute to think no discussion with others then i asked you turn to the partner and again discuss then student respond now i ask you to discuss with me there can be that you go on enlarging this group pehle akela socha do ne socha fir char soche fir 12 ka ya class ka pura group ban jaye or you can stop here any way you can adopt aap char ke group ke baad hi se uski presentation le le so it's just it looks like this first think right then you made a pair and then you made a bigger group to think so this is how this think pair share goes and you see individual thinking it means you develop the student to think of a solution to the problems it may be even in here here there is no need that there is not a fixed solution the conditions like brainstorming session doesn't exist here. it can be just a simple factual content also 
which you can ask the student question. You may you have taught a certain set principles, say Bernoulli's theorem or anything, and you tell the student that you okay, you think of some situation in the in the in the environment where it is applicable. So you can it can be a factual type, it can be any type of thing. Then you ask two to pair, then the bigger group and then the sharing with the whole. Then there is jigsaw teams. This is another uh, way. Here, again, I come to you. You think of any problem. It may be the one you which you said, database. Hmm? Okay. Aap database ke pure chapter ko do teen independent units mein baan Say, one is one is say concept. Dusra ho sakta characteristics. Am I right in saying? You take any chapter which you can uh, make parts into four or five independent parts of that. Jo ye dusre ke dependent ni hone chahiye. And then you make teams. The teacher divides an assignment or topic into four, five parts. Jitne aapke groups ban rahe hain. Uh, then uh, make the teams. Four or five teams ban rahe. हर टीम को जो चार या पांच आपने पार्ट्स बनाए थे हर टीम को एक एक पार्ट आप दे दो कि आपने ये तैयार करना है राइट अब हर टीम में से एक एक पर्सन को उठा लो ले लो पांच टीम्स बन गई पांच टीम्स में से एक एक टीम को ले लिया उनको सॉरी अभी पार्ट्स नहीं देने हैं उनको आपने एक एक मेंबर हर एक टीम का ले लेना है अब जो आपने एक एक मेंबर लिया है उन सब की एक टीम अलग बन गई दैट इज कॉल्ड एक्सपर्ट टीम्स Expert teams को आपने वो पांच parts मार रहे हैं। हर एक team जो expert team है, जैसे मान लो एक database concept की को and रट्टा understanding जो आप class में exam में preparation से पहले बांटते थे ना chapters का portion, same चीज आपने class में करवा दी। और expert teams को कहा do any चाहे कहीं से material लो, चाहे मेरे साथ discuss करो, आपने हर उस तो इस तरह से लर्न कर लेना है कि अपनी लैंग्वेज में आपने उस चीज को समझ लेना है अच्छी पांच पोर्शन सभी एक्सपर्ट टीम्स ने लर्न कर लिए एंड दे विल आल्सो फाइंड वेज टू मेक अदर पर्सन कौन सी एग्जांपल्स देंगे जिससे हमारे ग्रुप के सबको समझ आ जाए कि ये कांसेप्ट क्या होता है इट्स ऑल देयर एफर्ट्स ऑफ कोर्स इट इज अंडर द सुपरविजन ऑफ द टीचर उसके बाद आप क्या करेंगे इन पांचों सभी के जो एक्सपर्ट टीम्स के मेंबर बने थे उनको सभी को वापस टीम में दे दो नाउ एवरीबॉडी इज ट्रेंड इन वन ऑफ द पोर्शंस एक्सपर्ट टीम्स वापस गई वो मेंबर्स अपनी टीम में वो जाके हर हर मेंबर अपने बाकी के लोगों को बाकी के टीम मेंबर्स को वो पोर्शन टीच करवाएगा so all of you can re reassemble in their own learning teams where they teach the other group members. You just see this thing. यहाँ पे ये ये आपने teams बनाई, right? पांच teams बन गए। अब पांच teams का एक-एक member लेके आपने ये expert team बना दी मुझे। ये वाली, ये expert team है। ये expert team को आपने one of the portion you have given to them, right? ऐसे ही दूसरी टीम बन गई, तीसरी बन गई, चौथी ये सब एक्सपर्ट टीम्स बन गई। Each expert team has one member from each of the home teams। अब इनको वो पांच पोर्शंस तैयार करने के लिए दी। Now टीचर का रोल है मेंटर करने का। He has to see कि किसी टीम को मानो मटेरियल नहीं मिल रहा, तो he has to help in that। किसी टी किसी को ये नहीं पर कंसेप्ट इज़ वेरी टफ and the, the students are not able to think of certain, visualize certain real life examples to make other persons learn about it. So, wo sara kuch teacher maa pe jaate help kare. Then these persons go back to their teams and teach, every member teaches that portion. So, sare ke sare students ho hai. Ab, this type of where, where, um, the, where, you want to say that you want that there, there are certain concepts which you feel that everybody should know. Say any one of you goes to the industry or कहते हैं कि एक subject का basic तो सबको tips पे होना चाहिए। आजकल क्या होता है? Industry is 
क्रिटिसाइजिंग द स्टूडेंट्स कि आपका जो प्रोडक्ट है वो सही नहीं आ रहा उसको बेसिक्स भी नहीं आते हैं आई रिमेम्बर वन ऑफ दूस इन अवर इंस्टीट्यूशन इवन दर्सन विद इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियर ही वॉज नॉट है बेसिक्स ऑफ दैट सब्जेक्ट तो ऐसे अगर हो जाता है तो नेचुरली इंडस्ट्री विल क्रिटिसाइज अवर स्टूडेंट तो यहाँ पे है कि अगर कम से कम जो बेसिक्स हैं वो हर स्टूडेंट को लर्न हो जाए यू कैन अडॉप्ट दैट ऑफकोर्स स्टूडेंट्स विल वेरी इन देयर वे ऑफ एनालाइजिंग द थिंग्स दैट इज द हाइस्ट एज बट द बेसिक्स शुड बी क्लियर टू एवरी सो दिस टाइप इज अनदर कोलेबरेटिव वे ऑफ लर्निंग द थिंग्स देर आर अदर्स ऑल्सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग इन टू ऑल दो मैथड्स Uh, there is numbered heads together. There you make the numbers, give numbers to the situation, students, and uh, then you solve the problems. Um, is this clear? Point is for collaborative learning, you can follow a uh, very number of other methods also in the classroom. Say I have I have uh, experimented with this. Say you have taught and in the in the you this you can incorporate even in your uh, lecture method. Uh, you make two groups, and after your lecture, you tell them that okay, all of them will make uh, questions, and think of the answers to those questions. A group ne questions banaye, three four questions banaliye. Unke then they thought of the answers from the lecture which you have just taught. Then there is another group. सेकेंड ग्रुप सेकेंड ग्रुप को भी आपने मेरी जॉब दे दिया कि आपने चार क्वेश्चन बना लिए एंड थिंक ऑफ दी आंसर वो सभी ग्रुप मेंबर्स को पता होने चाहिए एंड देन दीज ग्रुप विल आस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दी टीचर सो नेचुरली देर विल बी ए टाइप ऑफ कॉम्पिटिशन देर विल बी कोलेबोरेशन ऑल्सो देर बिकॉज दे हैव टू मेक अदर्स ऑल्सो लर्न दो थिंग्स एंड इन दैट वे बेसिक्स ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर आर लर्न बाई ए एंड यू मे डू दिस एक्टिविटी वंस और ट्वाइस इन ए वीक and tell them that we are going to do it so be ready for that so everybody wants that okay the my group goes higher right a type of small competition that helps them to learn themselves as well advantages of learning are that they uh, help in students socialization kitna pehle to class mein baith ke aapko sun rahe the now they have come to different teams they have gone to the expert teams so wider uh, group interaction is there so socialization is developed this requires them to divide up tasks provide feedback debate different conclusions sare wo group wale jo sare ikatthe baithte hain then they again discuss right so uh, this help the how to divide the task because once you give the task they will further divide it okay you learn this thing you learn this thing encourages problem solving skills understanding complex relationships decision making in an open ended situations like that allows for peer coaching ek dusre ko padhate hain allows active involvement of students in learning information otherwise kya hai aapka student passive learner hai so these are the things which you can incorporate sure in your and uh, in addition to your lectures so that the help you your to help uh, help your students to develop these uh, skills uh, soft skills like creativity uh, communication skills the skills which you have listed and you have hired trainers for that that can that development of those skills can become part of your classroom lectures and i would say there will be better results इंजर इन इंजर आप तो कहते हैं ना कि फेलियर ज्यादा है वो फेलियर रेट्स भी आपके कम हो जाएंगे सो इट विल हैव नंबर ऑफ बेनिफिट्स जस्ट विद लिटल एफर्ट्स एंड इनिशिएटिव एट योर पार्ट सो ओके आई वेलकम क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम योर साइड